something really special for you guys. Trip today. It is now one o'clock. Be leaving maybe in the next half an hour, and we'll be traveling to outside Port Elizabeth to a very special stretch of coastline um, in South Africa. Very well known and well looked after. So, I'm gonna bring you guys coverage of that. I'm gonna hopefully catch a couple of cob this afternoon on paddle tail. Maybe put our one big bait. Um, and then tomorrow we'll fish for a couple of bigger fish so stay tuned guys i think uh i think we might bring you some epic catches i'm really 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 pumped up so enjoy and uh yeah So, when nobody comes, there's no roads either. So, no roads means you get stuck now and then. <laughs> the lacquer is all part of it. Okay, guys, so we have driven an hour and a half and we are almost at the place to go over the dunes and onto the beach. So, the local guys might have guessed it. We are fishing. Middle, about the middle of Sunday surf, which is a stretch of coastline, I think 47 kilometers right along, and it's untouched with no entry points. So they've asked me to not disclose the position of the farm, but we had to organize a permit or the guy on the farm, which was an old family friend that me and him reconnected, reconnected this year. And um, he's, he has done us a big favor and organized us a permit. And he's gonna let us go over the dunes. I'm really, really, really excited. We just checked conditions though. It's saying that there's gonna be a five meter swell coming tomorrow. I don't know from where though. But yeah, let's give it a bash, guys. I'm keen. Today's important. Today's the day. Jock. Last stretch guys, last 500 meters. Untouched, it's beautiful. Alright 
guys. Got our spot here. The wind is quite strong. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, got quite a heck of a little spot here, right? Yeah, as you come over, and you just turn for the sun. There's a spot that's like maybe 200 meters for it looks nice for a cobby, and then about 300 meters down, there's a lip. I don't know if you can see him. There. There's a bank on the far end. There's a bank there. And it's open. And then a bank. So it's lacquer there for a big fish. And then it looks lacquer here for a cobby. Um, got a little bit of troughs and you got a couple of banks working across. Looks tasty. So I'm pretty sure we'll get a fishy. Worried about that pressure. But to see the horizon looks quite flat, so we might get a fish all day tomorrow. That's all thumbs for that guys. And um, this is little yucky here. It's a fan. So let's go. Let's get locked and loaded. I want to waste more time. Only got about two hours of sun max. Guys, I'm wearing a glove, not because I'm a pussy, because I have a wound. I'm not actually meant to be here. Alright! In the water for about one minute and I'm on. I don't think it's a cob, I just think it's a sandy. Come on man, shake it, be a cob. Nah, it feels like a sandy, eh? Is this video on? Yeah. There you go guys, lesser sandy. Like I said, I was literally seeing them, so yeah, we'll take it. Nice bait. Got another little on here guys. Doesn't feel like a sandy. Yes, they know the sandy guys, unfortunately. Oh, males. Oh, Uncle Jock's first throw there. Gave the rod to his lighty also on, probably another sandy. Doesn't seem to be shaking head. Oh, this is incredible. I haven't even seen sandies like this before. I know it's a little silly fish, but it's like stray spy. They've been gone for years here on our coast. Oh, lacquer. Okay, guys, looks like it could be a cobby. What we came here for? Yo, it's a cubby! No, it's a shed! What is it? Masa Moor! Check it that shed! Woo! Shit! Look at that shed, guys! Holy moly! That's epic, catchy. Oh, look at that little shad, guys. Awesome, healthy fishy. I think we're going to keep this one as well because it's going to be fun to eat. Well done, Yaku. William Jock. Lack of first two throws here, guys. Before dark, it's now quarter past seven. I'm going to put on another cob bait. And I just want to show you what I did here. I made a, just got a little strip here. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hammer, I'm just going to beat the thicker end of the strip. You can order. Just thicker end a little bit. Then all you do is you, I'm going to wrap it upside down. Stupid glove. And then I'm going to look for my cotton.
just tighten. Make sure the bottom is very tight and the top is very tight. The middle doesn't have to be that tight. And then I just cut myself a little square like so. And I'm going to beat it. And I'm going to beat it quite hectic. Nice and soft. And then I'm just going to wrap that right around my dingle. And then again, this is actually more important now. The top just below the bot just below the hook and then at the bottom towards the the eye of your dangle. Make it very tight there. The middle mustn't be so tight. The cob needs to have like movement and it needs to um, release scent. My dangle's a bit short, but all I'm gonna do is just gonna cut it. And then just make sure that bottom is tight so that the bait doesn't pull through. And there we go guys. Fishing quite a small look and a smallish bait because there's quite a couple of steenies here. So I want to stand a chance catching a steenie. I've also got a 4-0 Daiichi and a long snoot here and I'm going to throw it onto a little bank. Stay tuned. Shot. Okay so I see in the front a bit of a trough here and it's making, it makes two sets of banks. So I try to hit the back set of banks. You want with the chocolate bait fishing for a cob or steer or anything, you want to be on the bank. So the fish are feeding just off of the bank and onto the bank. I don't like to fish in the, in the gutter as much. Uh, so I find that most, or my best success with cob and bait especially, and even with lure, is on the bank. So look for a place, it's got a nice working bank, not too shallow, but not too far. that little choker bait not sure if it's a sandy or an edible oh it's not a sandy it's not a sandy it's a cop it's a cop Woo! oh yeah baby Hi. There we go. Hold it for me. Uh -huh. Like so. There we go, guys. Eventually, hey. on that um, that choker bait that I showed you just before dark. Got a little three kilo fish here. Um, gonna keep this one for the fan. Now just stunning, stunning, stunning fish. Look at that lateral line there. Got a lack of little teeth, look perfectly in the corner. Yeah. They need to be 60 centimeters to keep. This one's well over 60. And um, yeah, super tough. First little Sunday's Kobe. I'm sure there's gonna be a couple more bites tonight. Cheers. Alright guys, on again. This one feels like a cob. Feels like a half decent fishy as well. Come on, be a cob, please be a cob. Why oh, stop shaking its head now man? Got some weight to it though. It's a cob, it's a cob, it's a cob, it's a cob. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, buddy. Check it out. Now the cob about the same size, just over 60. So we've kept one, so we're gonna put this one back. Shit, there's no one here to fool me.
Alright guys, so it's now 9 o'clock, 20 past 9, having a bit of a break, a lunch break. The winds died down again and uh, we've set up camp. So uh, there's our tent. <laughs> Some guys are already passed out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get a second spring of wind now and go chase another cop. Tell us what the wind is on the in English. They blew us away. wind came last night it literally blew our tent over all our roads everything was blowing away i don't know what we've all lost like look at the beach it's just opened with rocks completely i'm gonna show you guys it's all rocks which wasn't there yesterday and um yeah the sea is picked up to the not quite the four meters that are predicted but it's big and it's surging so it's meant to get very hot today, so we might back up and head through the dunes before it's before it's boiling. Uh, yeah, which is a very big pity, unfortunately. We only fished for maybe three and a half hours yesterday, and there was a lot of action. A lot. I think we ended up with like 12 or 13 sandies, or maybe not that many. 10, a few sandies, 10, 11 sandies, uh, a couple of cob. Uh, three or four cobbies and a big shed. So it was lacquer. It was very, very lacquer, but yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. Hopefully, thanks to my friend, who organizes another permit one day. And we can come fish here in the east again. Yeah, thanks, Marcel, you're a champion. Move! Ja. Huh? Dat je op de rand wat je steeds oppast. 